In this example, we will be approximating the square root of 31. To do this, we want to look for perfect squares nearby to 31. Examples of this are 5 squared, which is 25, and 6 squared, which is 36. We can see that 31 lies between 25 and 36. Using this information, we can write the following inequality. 25 is less than 31, which is less than 36. Now we can take the square root of all of these values in our inequality. The square root of 25 is 5, because 5 squared is equal to 25. The square root of 36 is 6, because 6 squared is 36. Now we can see that the square root of 31 lies between 5 and 6. It's pretty equally spaced between 5 and 6, or 25 and 36. So we can try a value such as 5.5 squared to see how close we can get to 31. So we'll multiply 5.5 times 5.5. 5. 5 times 5 is 25, carry the 2. 5 times 5 is 25, plus 2 is 27. Add our 0. 5 times 5 is 25, carry the 2. And then 5 times 5 is 25, plus 2 is 27. Adding these values together, we end up getting 30.25, which is fairly close to 31. But let's try 5.6 squared to see if we can get closer. 6 times 6 is 36, carry the 3. 5 times 6 is 30, plus 3 is 33, add our 0. 5 times 6 is 30, carry the 3. And then 5 times 5 is 25, plus 3 is 28. Now when we add these together, we end up getting 31.36. So we can see that 30.25 is 0 0.75 away from 31, but 31.36 is 0 0.36 away, so this one is closer. Therefore, 5.6 is a better approximation, and 5.6 squared is about 31. So we can take the square root of both, and the square root and the squared cancel, so we get 5.6 is approximately the square root of 31.